All right, so what's up, YouTube? So behind me, I have a NoStar 96 SeaDoo GTI. So I went through all of my tests and determined that I have a, a bad desk post. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I tested for that desk post, and then we're going to swap this out and get another one in it. But this sounds kind of familiar. Um, four months ago, my GTS did the same thing. No start, nothing when I press the start button. In that video, I went through the whole process of every check that I did. And of course, in, in the end of that one, it was the MPM that was bad. So a little different today. I'm not going to go through all my test sequence that I went through, but we're just going to go right to the desk post. I'm going to show you how I tested it. In the previous video months ago, I did test a desk post in there, but I tested it out of the machine. So today I'm going to show you how I tested it in the machine, and then we're going to swap this thing out. So, all right, let me get you off the uh, tripod. Let's get started. Okay, and just real quick, I want to show you um, where I'm at with this machine as far as when I said it's no start, does nothing. Uh, in case you find yourself in a situation, maybe you're just starting out and you're trying to get a grasp on, you know, what your problem is and how to test for it. Um, so I've got the key here. This desk post that's in here is connected to the box here. So I'm not getting anything. I press the start button, no clicks, no sound. That's where I found myself. And so I went through the test. Uh, that I normally do, and that you checked out in a previous video, uh, a no start video that I had on the 98 GTS. But here, I'm gonna take you off, we're gonna get a look, much closer look at this box uh, and show you just how to identify the desk posts coming into your box, and that way it's really easy. And it's really easy to test, but I'm gonna show you that test, and hopefully, this will help you not spend money on parts that maybe you don't need. If you can learn how and know how to test things before you just start ordering parts and hoping that they fit, I mean, that they work, uh, I hope this video will, will help you do that and narrow it down. So anyway, let me get you off the um, tripod there and let's dig into this box here and uh, let's test these desk posts out. All right, so I've got my GoPro in my hand and let's get a closer look at this box here. Now I've kind of dug out the, the wires here. They're not gonna be, um, you know, this easy uh, to identify, but let's start with the, the desk post here that's not in the ski. So check out the wires. You have three wires. You have a black and a yellow striped wire. You have a white and a gray striped wire and then you have a solid black wire. That's what you're looking for. So when you're trying to follow this desk post into your box here, it's, it's pretty simple. You just look for, since I identified those three wires, and then this particular one comes in right down here, if you can see past my finger. So I identified it that way, and then I was able to pull out these, and I've already disconnected them uh, in a sense that it's not going to be too hard for me to pull them apart. Um, it can be difficult if these have not been um, disconnected in a while. So be careful and that you don't damage the, um, the wiring trying to get these apart. So anyway, so now I've got them disconnected and these are the three wires coming in to the box from the desk post over here. So we're gonna test this bad one, and then we're gonna test the good one, and I'll show you the difference between the two. So I doubt I can do this one-handed, so let me see if I can recruit a family member out here, and we'll run these tests on here and let you see and hear um, how to know when you have a bad desk pose. All right, so hold on a minute. All right, so let's take a look at your electrical box here. And as I showed you, we have followed the wiring into the box and we have identified and unplugged these three wires. So let's test real quick. Uh, let me show you how I determine you have, I have a bad desk post. So I've got my multimedia. Oh, first thing uh, real quick is make sure you uh, 
disconnect your battery. I've already done that. So, um, all right. So I got my multimeter on, multimeter on, and I've set it on the ohms. And so when we have continuity, you're going to hear a beep. You should hear beep in each one of these. So the first thing that I test, I take the white and gray wire that's coming into this box from your desk post. So it doesn't matter which probe that you uh, connect to the tip here. The other probe you're going to take and you're going to touch the tip of the desk post here. And if you can hear that, I'm getting the sound that's telling me that uh, we have continuity. That's good. So that portion of our desk post is good. The next thing I'm going to take is the solid black wire. Again, it doesn't matter which probe you stick in. In it there, and we're going to touch the side post here now. And again, you hear that we have continuity. So everything is good so far. So the last thing to test is I'm going to go put I'm going to go ahead and put the key on the post and make sure that you have it on there good. And so now I'm going to take the solid black wire and I'm going to take the black and the yellow wire. Now, without the key on, there's no continuity, which means I stick a probe in each one of these, I'm not going to get anything. But with the key on, I should get that sound, the beeping, and I'm getting nothing. So, that means that my desk post is bad. I should have continuity by having the key on and probe on both of these wires and I get nothing. So with that test, I have my extra that we're gonna swap out today. So let's do the same uh, test. Take the key off for a minute there. I'm gonna take, follow the same order there. I'm gonna take the white white and gray, insert a probe there, and I'm going to touch the tip of this desk post and have continuity. So I'm going to take the black wire and I'm going to do the same thing, doesn't matter which probe, and I'm going to touch the side and again I have continuity. So the last thing taking the black and yellow wire and the solid black wire. So let me show you, I'm gonna take these two, like I said, it doesn't matter. Insert the probes here and see I'm getting nothing, which is correct. But let me take the key and let's go ahead and put the key on the post here. And now let's do that same test again. The black wire and the black and yellow wire. And we should get continuity. And we do. So, good, good desk post here, bad desk post in the machine. So, there is the test and I hope that uh, helps you. So, should you find yourself in this same type of situation where nothing is happening when you put your key on? So just real quickly, I'm going to swap this out. I'm going to show you just real quick. I'm going to open the hood. We're going to go in and show you how I'm going to take this desk post out and we'll insert this uh, new one in. So all right, let's uh, get started. All right, so back to my GoPro here. First step I'm going to do is take out or push this um, desk post down into the machine. So it's got, I've already loosened it here. I just want to show you and actually I've already pretty much taken it all the way off. This just unscrews around your desk post, freeing it up and then I'm just going to push it down into the uh, washer here, pull that out and I'm just going to push it down into the hole there. So let's come around here. 
And right up here, you can see it, but I'm pointing right, I cannot. Kind of let me grab it. So right up here is the best post that I've uh, pushed down into the hole. So I've got uh, two clamps as it comes through there. I don't know if it's picking up. Let me grab this light. And so if you're picking that up, I've got two clamps there that I've got to undo that are attached to the side of the hole. And then just a little further down, I have a zip tie that I'm going to have to clip. And once that is done, I'll be able to just pull it right out of the box. And then I'll just repeat in reverse order. The new desk post will get that in here. And um, I don't know if I'll may or may not, because this will, most of this is going to take two hands, so may not be able to show you anything more until I get the new desk post in. And then I'll bring you back. We'll get it connected. And let's see if this thing will turn over. All right, so I uh, uh, ran the new desk post in. Got the uh, three wires coming through, and so we're going to connect them. And uh, by the way, don't be intimidated by all the wiring you see. If you get into your box and you haven't been in here before, and it can be intimidating. Uh, the wires are all color coordinated, and so you're going to plug the wires into the same color wire. So here is the connection, the white and the gray, and the white and the gray. So yeah, I'm going to put those together if I can get it to pop there you go so what have I got here this is the black and the yellow here's that connection got that snapped in last is the solid black wire coming through and there's the connector for this one and Boom, there we are. So we sh all connected back to the box. I'll fold these wires back in here before I box it back up. So now I'm gonna move over to my desk post or to my key and put it on the desk post here. And I should now get this thing to turn over. Whoops, I almost forgot. Hold on just a minute. I got to connect, reconnect the battery. It scared me for a minute when I pressed that and <laughs> nothing happened. Let me connect the battery and uh, then we'll bring it right back. All right, got my battery connected. So now when I put the uh, key on the desk post, this thing should turn over now. And there we go. So I hope this video will help you if you find yourself in this situation, trying to find out why your machine will not do anything. And uh, this is just one of the things that you can test and um, uh, determine if this is your problem or not. So, all right, I appreciate you joining me and we'll catch you on the next video.